Now, ladies, look, look back at your slide. If men are supposed to reflect Christ, women are to reflect Christ's love for his church to their husbands. How does a wife do that? Well, this is what the Bible describes as God's plan for every woman. Just like if we love Jesus Christ, we follow him. Just as we love Jesus Christ, we honor him. Just as we love Jesus Christ, we respond to him. Do you understand that? Just as we love Jesus Christ, we enjoy his presence. We follow his lead. We feel his love. We seek time with him and we love his plan. Now look up from the slide. Ladies, let me just rehearse for you. This is what the book of Proverbs, if you'll take the time to begin with prayerful, open-heartedness reading, Proverbs shows you how to get ready for the second greatest day of your life, that, that delight of marriage. How do you do that? By reading Brides Magazine and watching every, you know, chick flick uh, romance movie possible and just, you know, kind of being a little giggly about getting married every day of your life. There's nothing wrong with that. But do you want to really get ready? Number one, follow Jesus Christ. Every day start following Jesus Christ. How do you follow him? And by the way, this is true for men and women. This isn't just heavy on the wives thing and the young ladies. We follow him by opening his word and saying, I want you to speak to me. This is the word of God. The Bible is God talking. Prayer is me talking to him. The Bible is him talking to me. If you're following someone, you listen to them. You find out where they're going. You find out what they want you to do. You follow them. The most important thing for a wife is learn to follow Christ so that when that young man that represents Jesus Christ, that is seeking to point his life in biblical wisdom towards submitting to Jesus Christ because he is saved and humbly following him, she'll have no trouble following that young man. So do you want to have a wonderful, romantic, godly marriage? Follow Christ today. And he will bring into your life in his perfect time. And you will see a young man, as you observe him, that you will be drawn to that is Christ-like. And you want to follow him. Secondly, you want to honor him. We honor Christ. How do we honor Christ? No one in their right mind that's Christian speaks evil, uh, denigrates. Uh, you know what I mean? That's what a wife. Did you know why that's so important? Did you know that men... Married men are crushed when their wife criticizes them. <laughs> I guess it's because we have pride, all of us. And they're not, you know, saying, oh, criticize me all you can. But let's be real. As a four decade long pastor, I began analyzing why wonderful marriages got destroyed. And one of the elements I saw over and over was that a husband did not feel honored at home. Every time he was home, he was told all the things he wasn't doing well and, you know, do more of this and all that. But when he got to work, that receptionist said, oh, boy, are you wonderful. Now, flattery, yeah, it was probably untrue what she was saying. But see, every man needs why do I say this? Because it says in Ephesians 5, if you read on the wife's side, that the wife see that she honor, respect her husband. There has to be this, this treating him special that a man responds to. The next one on the list, respond to him. You know what the Bible says in Titus 2? That first word, husband lovers? The word is philoandres. Phil Andres. This is the word, the command for every woman toward her husband. Phileo means best friends. Phileo is friendship. Andres, Andres is man. So your man is your husband. 
You're supposed to be best friends with your husband. Do you know what? Many young ladies are best friends with their mom, best friends with their sisters, best friends with their girlfriends. And their husband is just their husband. Marry someone that you can choose by grace, God's grace, to become best friends for life. Bonnie is the one person in the whole world I'd like to spend all my time with. I'd like to share every part of my life with. Because Christ is that way toward me, I want to be that way toward her. Do you know what makes marriage wonderful? That she wants to be best friends with me. On that list, enjoy his presence. We enjoy Christ's presence. Enjoy your husband's presence. Follow his lead. Oh, boy, is that unpopular. But God actually said that men have a gender-specific role and that women, their wife in particular, is to follow them. Now, a lot of men have a condition that they are passive. The passive male syndrome, I call it. They have PMS, you know, passive male syndrome. And they don't want to be the leader. They don't, they don't want to. They, they'd rather have their wife lead. Men, you're supposed to lead as husbands. Wives, you're supposed to follow. We feel his love. Ladies, feel your husband's love. Seek time with him. We're to seek time and love his plan. Look at the last slide. That's how you get ready for the second greatest day of your life. That's what... Exploring Proverbs teaches us in this fifth class that we're supposed to be getting ready for the greatest day of our life. How? By following the curriculum. You know what the best way to get ready to be married is? Become a godly older man. Live as a godly younger man. Uh, desire to be a godly older woman. Be and become a godly younger woman. That's the curriculum based on the book of Proverbs that God said is the best way to live life on earth.